Yo, 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 it's just, it's the snail of the sacred variety here. Uh, and I am in California. Uh, I didn't really get any good footage because my phones have pretty much died because I used them for calling people back home. If you haven't watched the last video, I am riding my bike to, from Washington to uh, San Diego, and I'm going to ride across the U.S., but, um, you know, I just wanted to give, you know, I'm on day number, I think, seven, eight now, maybe, so eight days into this journey, I just want to tell you about how it is. First of all, uh, the amount of tubes you go through on a bike, boom, insane. You have tubes popping left and right because there's so many staples in the road. Um, man, I just quit drinking coffee, so I'm a bit drowsy feeling, but I'm fighting it. Uh, that's part of the thing, you know, is, uh, you know, you gotta be minimal. Well, if you're like me and you have barely any budget and you're doing it on a small little stash of money, you know, I had to quit drinking caffeine because that costs money cut it out it sucks i've been drowsy for three days doesn't matter pushing through it um this is the price you pay when you you know i left town i left my hometown with 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 a small chunk of change uh in today's standards and the california spindy so what it's looking like is i've gone through more money than i thought and i have pretty much have to stop in San Diego, get some work, and then head and then head across the USA. And you know that's just how it is because I don't have the uh, I need to be able to stop places to charge the phones, which I didn't really think about being such a problem until I got out there. My phone started dying, and I thought, oh man, I'm out in the middle of nowhere. I don't have any place to charge my phone. It's like don't I was the whole thing was I'm doing like I'm doing like a bum. I'm literally just camping out on the side of side of roads. Um in the woods, you know, on the beach, by the railroad tracks, on the power line roads. And there's just you know, those are those are free spots obviously. Uh but you can't there's nowhere to charge your phone. So I just have zero I just have pictures, I got zero footage. And it's just like uh so that situation is gonna be something I'm gonna have to work out. Be like, hey, I'm gonna go get, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go work for a bit in California, um, and then I could be like hitting uh, state parks along the U.S., get my phone charged. Um, also, just get more money for more tubes because the tubes are insane. How many tubes you go through? It's just staple after staple. Man. But anyways, Oregon was super sick. Uh, I love Oregon. The, it's a vibe, man. It's a vibe. It's kind of like, um, when, you know, it's half the time, most of the time, it was super hazy, you know, when you're on the beach and there's all the rocks. It's almost like the, the Weeping Peninsula from um, Elden Ring. You know, if I have to compare it to a FromSoft game area, it would be the Weeping Peninsula. It's a, it's a It can be kind of weird because sometimes it's all hazy and there's no one on the road and it's really spooky and you're like... It's kind of spooky at times, and then you know it's it's just like the weather's you get that, but you get that sea breeze where it's like the mist flying at you and it like really wakes you up, you know, really that mists your face, you know, really nice, you know. Um, but yeah, Oregon's sick, man. I think uh, was it a uh, Pacific? Uh, not Pacific. What is the one? Obviously, I have a bias towards seaside. Seaside being like the place that I used to go to. Um, you know, when I was a when I was a younger lad, it was pretty close to my home hometown. It's like an hour and a half away, hour away. So I still love Seaside the most. Um, I think the other one's called Pacific City. I might be wrong, but that one's really cool. It might be a different town that I'm thinking of. The Lincoln City is also really sick. Um, but there's a lot of uh, it's confusing too because now I'm in now I'm in uh, California and there's like there's so many towns that sound similar where it's like oh this is uh Klamath, and then there's Klamath up here, and then there's there's just so many similar kind of cities. I get it all mixed up, and there's literally like I feel like I passed like 30 small beach towns, and it's like you cannot keep track of all these towns. You don't realize. I mean, I drove this route. I realize there's a lot of towns, but biking it really just when you're hitting all these towns and actually seeing them, 
like kind of going by and looking in, in detail and stopping at the stores it's a totally different thing because you're like dang there's just so many freaking towns man um and uh, a lot of them i think the houses cost like half a mil at least uh even just for the regular ones because they're on the beach you know it's uh it's a great place to live, I guess, but for me, like, I don't know, a lot of that haziness, I don't think I could do that 24-7, man, that, that freaking overcast. I mean, sometimes you're in a freaking cloud. You're just in the cloud. Um, you're just literally, the cloud just comes down, and you're just in it, and you're like, oh, I'm in a cloud, and it's moist, you know? Um, but yeah, uh, the thing is, I, I left on this single-speed bike, and it is uh, pretty not the way to go. Obviously, I knew that when I was coming out here, but, you know, single speed uh, is a horrible decision. Get a mountain bike, even if it's a cheap one, because a single speed bike is not working out. Uh, it's working, but it's, it's I, I mean, if you're, if you're doing a long distance trip with a, with a, with a pack full of stuff, um, I definitely would not recommend a single speed bike. Uh, even though I'm, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to prove that even like a dude like me, not a lot of money, uh, at least at this point, I, I did, I, I had a decent savings. Now I don't, I'm just, I'm just trying to show that a dude like me can, anyone can just pick up a mount, a bike from the store, put some stuff on it, boom, go across the country. So far it's working. Uh, is it working good? I was working decent. Okay. Uh, you know, I think the biggest problem was for one, you had tubes, and then you got the you got to pack a bunch of weight, like a lot. Cause you got food, you got to pack. You got water, you got to pack. You don't want to run out of water um, because you can you can buy two two liters, and then you can just drink those all really quick on a hot day biking, and it's gone. Like I've drank those in hours, a couple hours or a few hours goes by and those two two liters are gone so i'm packing gallons you know and then you gotta pack food you don't want to run out of food that's horrible that sucks you know you always want to you always want food just for the the peace of mind so having all this food water uh i pretty much threw away like half my clothing because that was taking up so much weight so i just said okay screw that i'll be a i'll look like a bum i'll sound like a bum just to shed the weight just so i have i mean i still have two outfits that's, that's good enough for me. Uh, shed the weight. Um, you got sleeping bags. You got camping materials. That's the biggest flaw that I had when I first started out is do not overpack. Um, you know, weight is a resource when you're doing this. You, you want to be ultra light. Um, you do not. If you have something like I, I packed a piece of furniture. It's still on my bike. I packed a metal vase. That's stupid because it's just take it's just i haven't done anything with that vase the whole point of it was just as a joke like oh i'm gonna take my vase with me and it's still on my bike just and it, it's actually heavy because it's like it's like literally like a bronze vase and I, i'm carrying it across the freaking country and no one i try to give it away to people and no one wants my vase but i don't want to throw it away because i've had that vase for so long so i just carrying around this stupid vase so it's just like don't like don't pack stuff like that you know obviously um and of course you gotta pack tubes and stuff. Um, but so far the experiment is working out. Uh, it's actually quite simple. You, you know, you bike all day, you sleep. You bike all day, you sleep. And it's pretty simple. It's actually a pretty, uh, it's pretty low stress too, really. There's not really much to worry about. You don't have to worry about, uh, uh, you know, the, um, the oven being left on because you don't have an oven because you're a bum you know and also uh i will say like like being next to the freeway or the highway it's here's the thing the road changes it's a highway it's a byway it's a freeway being next to that thing all the time can get annoying you have all these trucks go by and it's like dude chill but you know after a little after a few days it doesn't even it doesn't even phase me anymore. It's just road noise. Just block it out at this point, you know? Uh, it's like kind of constantly like, it's just like kind of, uh, and you know, we get reach parts where the log trucks kind of 
aren't there so much, and that's and that's the loudest part about it. Is those freaking log trucks, and they like freaking spraying fumes on you. But you know what? I'm past the log truck area pretty much. I mean, there's still some log trucks, but you know, more cars now. It's more chill. Um, but yeah, I would say you know, uh, Oregon is an awesome place to ride through even if you just do Oregon like it's literally just so many rock and beach formations you know I grew up watching uh, Goonies so you get you see that rock and you know Cannon Beach or whatever and I went to that rock when I was younger and then but I didn't realize how many rocks there are on the side of the beach like I thought I thought, I thought hey man there's, there's that one rock there's a million freaking rocks and some of them there's unmarked unmarked there's like beaches that are uh unmarked because they're just they're just a beach uh there's a couple like that and um because i mean you think about it there's a you know it's just a long the beach never quits so of course there's going to be a million more beaches it's just that i had like just my view of oh i got their seaside i never i you know i totally forgot about all this other land and how many cool beaches are on it um on the southern or southern side of oregon um, and then even when you get to California, where I'm at now, is pretty much, like, awesome beach territory. I will say, uh, so far, Oregon's got the cooler ones, because they got the big rock formations, but, um, yeah, California's got some really sick beaches, too. Uh, oh, you know what, though, never mind, I was gonna say California does have the big rock formations as well. I was just at the beach, um, and they had a huge, a huge rock formation they could climb on, so... You can actually take a road up here so big, so we got some crazy stuff out here. Um, obviously, it's cool exploring these, uh, getting to a new biome because I was in the kind of the beach biome, and now I'm in the kind of beach but red mixed with redwoods biome. It'll be cool to get to the desert biome. Um, I think this will also be a cool challenge too because I'll get to San Diego. Hopefully, if my leg doesn't break or whatever. I get to San Diego, let's say everything goes good with my limited supply of cash. And now the challenge is I am a bum. And I have to find a job as a bum. Which I haven't done before. Uh, I always have a place a place to stay while I'm looking for a job. So this is going to be interesting. Um, but I think it will be a cool, uh, a cool, you know, survival experience. Or maybe like a urban survival experience uh it's like hey saying hey i don't got i don't have much i don't have much uh in the means of shelter or savings or whatever but i'm still gonna find a job somehow i think it'll be interesting to try to do that um probably be a big challenge so and i think part of it's just gonna be not looking like a bum you know obviously i'm gonna have to be like i'm gonna put a button-up shirt on comb my hair out and then no one will even know of them, hopefully. So, yeah, it's been a it's been a cool ride. Uh, I did pull two muscles, but I'm pretty much uh, uh, kind of healed up. So, muscle my back, muscle my leg. I was trying to do 100 miles a day, but uh, it's a bit. I need, I need to kind of ramp up. So I'm I'm at an average of 90. So I'm just gonna keep trying to push like 80, 90 miles. It's kind of a healthy amount, you know. I think it's a uh, uh, a healthy amount for how how uh, ready I was for this trip, you know, obviously um, with like better gear um, it could be uh, I think if I had a better bike I could do you know 100 miles a lot easier um, also the the thing is like, really you really um, run into some issues, I, I ran into some issues kind of with the packing method, you know, I have a uh, saddle bags but they don't I don't have the I kind of have a cheap um I have a cheap uh what do you call that thing back to the back rack the back the bike uh, the rear wheel rack or whatever you call that it hooks to the you know the bike rack it's cheap and it doesn't have a support on it that it needs so it can swivel at any time even though it's tight you know it has so much weight on it probably got like 100 pounds on it because it's got saddlebags and i got a crate on top of that. So it can swivel at any time. Which it usually doesn't if you're just riding. But, you know, you 
you set the bike down, all the gravity goes like that, and it pushes the rack. And now it's and now you go to ride again. The saddlebags are hitting the spokes. Doo, 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 doo. You know, it's there's a, that's like a it's just a hassle. So that's one thing I'd recommend is like getting a good bike rack with the support beams that go down to the bike frame, not the cheap one from Walmart. Uh, it's working after just messing around and like tying a bunch of straps to it and uh, making it look horrible, uh, which is fine. But it, uh, I mean, this bike, uh, this bike rack is just, this is not, this is not, it's just lackluster, right? Because it doesn't have any support. It's just kind of freaking sway around. Um, but I mean, you know what? I got a hundred pounds on it. So I am, uh, I'm happy that this Walmart, um, bike rack is actually holding up to that. Uh, even being like, feeling like it's not quite steel. I think it's aluminum. And it's still holding up. It hasn't broke. So I, I do, uh, I do think that's, uh, I got lucky doing that. So, you know, nothing, nothing serious has broken yet. Tubes. Uh, that's it. Um, I will say Oregon's got some, uh, some great, uh, spots just to camp out if you're not trying to get a campsite. Um, you know, like there's just so many railroads and um power line roads and just like you know just so there's so many there's just so many uh areas that just don't really have uh a lot of people and it's like you can just go on these power line roads power line power line roads are probably the best and you know i've actually seen other dudes camping out on these power line roads and um because they're just such great camping areas really are um uh, also the beaches, you know, which a lot of them you're not allowed to sleep in, but some of the, the unmarked ones just, you know, go, I just like sneak in at night. They're unmarked. You don't have to sneak in really. Just walk in, sleep on the beach because there's, there's an unmarked beach. No one's around. There's no houses. Um, even with the marked ones that say no camping, um, I mean, you can sleep in those ones. If you sneak in at night and just like, it has to be, you know, pitch black, just sneak in, go lay on the grass, you know, it's, it's doable. Um, and then just get up in the morning, just dip out, get out of there. Um, you know, uh, there's so many, there's so many spots. Um, and then Northern California is the same way, even more so because there's, there's, there's another, there's another beach in California that is just pretty empty. Uh, supposedly, I, I, I got tipped off on a spot. It's kind of a local camping spot, but I couldn't find it. But supposedly, there's a beach that no one's at. They can just camp at. So, um, I did find another spot. I found another spot near there. But there's so many there's so many beaches. They're just, uh, or not so many, but there's a few beaches that are empty and they make great camping spots. Walk in, set up, boom, you're on the beach ocean noises you know listen to the ocean but yeah anyways that's my uh that is just my experience so far um as like kind of like a budget travel a buzz buzz like a budget biking trip and I'll, i will say before i end this video the more money you have obviously the more the easier it's gonna be uh you know, being able to stay at parks and uh, hotels. I did get a hotel. I got one. This is my first first shower in ten days, or eight days, or whatever. So, real nice, real nice. I'm clean, you know, clean again. Don't smell bad. But it it is nice to have more cash. I would I would recommend like like they recommend like at least four grand. I think it's like four almost five grand, four and a half grand to cross the U.S. Um, and I yeah, I would recommend. I would just definitely recommend that because I'm on a, I got left with around um, 2,700, three grand, something like that, and um, like you, you know, it, there's a lot of there's a lot of cost you don't really think about, and then you think, man, it would be nice to, you know, obviously you gotta save these parts to charge your phone, so that's the, that's the main thing. If it wasn't for the phone charging. I wouldn't, I would have zero problems uh, just camping out anywhere, but it's just, you gotta have a place to, or I do, because I'm trying to make content. You know, I gotta, I'm trying to make some, some videos, so it's important to, 
charge my phone but other than that it's been easy um you know i'm staying healthy hydrated vitamins uh i have you know i i'm a you know not even coffee anymore just pretty much you know running at my uh just pretty much feeling healthy you know feeling healthy getting plenty of exercise getting sun you know all that so it's been good california's sick but yeah i will i will post another video probably um soon about the next eight days thank you for watching peace out